This morning, hundreds of people came to the house of Yevhen Korostelov, where he lived with his family. They all came to say goodbye. He was a commander that was respected by soldiers that performed his work with dignity. His distinctive trait was this Slobozhan Shinakaza character. He defended his country. I saw a great commander in him as a son of a lineage of Cossacks from Slobozhanshina. He was called a legend. Evhen Korostelov was a career officer. His service started at the Sumy Cadet Academy. He graduated as a lieutenant. He returned home after his death as a colonel. 20 years ago on these parade grounds, Evhen received his lieutenant to poets. People saw a great future for him. He did not serve in ordinary regiments, but in the best airborne units that were always on the first line of Ukrainian defense. Everyone is mourning today. Our country, our friends. On behalf of the National Security and Defense Council, I express condolences to his wife, comrades, and all of those who loved and will love our brother. He started his service 20 years ago in the 25th Separate Airborne Brigade. Recently, he was deputy commander and was in charge of artillery. After that, he was promoted to commander. His subordinates remember him as an example of a real officer and a soldier that valued human life the most. He knew everything about everyone. He knew what's happening in soldiers' families and how their parents are doing. He would listen to everyone's problems and help people. He was just. He was tough, but he was just. Evhen was one of the first people to go to war. His comrades could not believe the news that he had died. Having in mind his ingenuity and unorthodox decisions he made in various combat situations, we can without doubt say that he was a legendary commander. Who among the artillerymen does not know Colonel Korostilov? He is well known not only in our brigade, he is well known all around Ukraine and in the armed forces. Around a month ago, Yevhen Korostilov was appointed head of the 128th Mountain Assault Brigade. The first words he said in the brigade is that we are now a big family. He demonstrated he was an inspiring commander. He was courageous and animated. He never demanded the impossible. Everything was straight to the point. I believe he was a great commander of our brigade. The 128th Brigade became the last place where he served. On November 12th, during an inspection of forward positions, he tripped a mine. He lost his leg and was delivered in grave condition to a hospital in Kharkiv. The investigation has several versions of what happened. It could have been an explosion of an IED or a shell fired from the side of the opponent, because one of the soldiers heard an explosion sound coming from the side of the enemy trenches. Yet the injuries paint a different picture. When shrapnel is inspected, we could give more details. Doctors fought for his life for a week, but on November 19th his heart stopped. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky awarded Colonel Korostelov the Bodan Hmelnitsky Award of the Second Degree posthumously. He had a wife and a daughter. In October, Evhen Korostelov turned 38. Report by Olesha Borovic, UATV.